we bought to change up the Carbon Fox's exhaust because, well, honestly, I'm just tired of it. As you can see with the Carbon Fox, uh, our exhaust hangs really low. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it right there. You kind of got a straight line and this thing starts to dip right here. And that's not going to work. This thing drags on everything. All right, so what are we going to do? As you can see out here, I have some more exhaust and I thought about doing a Frankenstein kit, like welding some stuff up and making it work. So let's go over what we got here and let's look at our options. We got a Mac Pro Chamber, a two and a half inch off-road Pro Chamber right here. And over here is just like a homemade uh, two and a half inch H pipe, which although it's very ugly, works just fine. Except for we have some major leaking issues around these flanges. Now these flanges can be purchased and re-welded on, which is what I really need to do to save these exhausts. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not, it is extremely hard nowadays to find an off-road H pipe, X pipe, pro chamber whatever it is you're looking for most of your favorite websites and companies that you would normally go to do not sell these things anymore so if you got a welder though it's not a problem we can fix it but with that being said this particular exhaust over here which is our pro chamber has the exact same problem i had to try to fix this and it never did seal up and that is not a place you want to have an exhaust leak the further down the line the exhaust leak happens eh, the easier it is to tolerate but up here it's very obnoxious um, not quite as bad as a tube leak on a header, but pretty bad. So as you can see, the two sides that I need to pull off of are both messed up. So I think I'm just going to leave this. Yes, I could cut this and angle it, but eh, I'm not going to worry with it. So as you can see, we got a nice X pipe on this car. Looks a lot better than both of those. So what we need to do here is fix the issue that we have. So what we may do is pull all this shit off and then go to some type of dump or turndown setup. As you can see back there in the back, well, you probably can't. I'll show you here in just a second. We've got some like three to three and a half inch turndowns that we can weld onto any of these mufflers. Now, I like tailpipes and I like turndowns. It doesn't really matter to me. The red car has tailpipes on it and this car as well. Now, here's one of the issues that I'm running into. You can see right here that we're getting really close to this uh, bumper right here and it's starting to kind of melt it. Well, back here it already has. Look at this. The pure heat and all the horsepower coming from the carbon fox just straight demon fire shooting out of the tailpipes is burning our bumper up so that's not going to work we need to fix this and now this could all be angled down a little bit better but you'd have to really kind of do some cutting angling and re-welding and i don't know i want to hear the car first off with a set of turn downs on it and we'll see how that sounds so i'm gonna surprise you guys with some new setup here on the carbon fox we'll see how she sounds I should have plenty of video to pick from to let you hear what the Carbon Fox sounds like right now and maybe even a couple of other renditions that we've had before. I'll dig back through some of my old YouTube videos and we'll post up some different sound clips for you guys. But for right now, I need to go ahead and start unbolting this stuff. I know you guys like time lapses, so I'm just going to set the camera up and do some work. All right, so before we decide if that's exactly where we want it, let's go ahead and push this muffler up because we're gonna have this thing up pretty high this time. That looks pretty good, it's pretty much straight down. So I'm okay with that. I can always tilt the muffler just a little bit if I need to. So yeah, that looks pretty good, I like it. Let's go ahead and leave it hanging. That way we can get to the top of it. Let's weld this thing up. Yeah, baby. Ow! <laughs> Y'all gotta see that? I just grabbed this thing right in the hot spot. I'm trying to rush because of the weather. 
And that's when accidents happen. So you gotta be careful. Remember that stupid. So we're gonna ease down. Yeah, it's not too bad. It dropped down a little bit. So what we'll do if we need to, we'll push this up and we'll create some type of hanger again up here. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this. And once I'm done, I'll let you guys hear the car. We'll see if we like it better with the turndowns on it or tailpipes. Uh, like I said, I've had many turndown cars in my life. I actually typically prefer them, but with this car and the red car, I've had tailpipes on them pretty much from day one. So let's go ahead and get all this finished up before the bad weather comes in and we'll see what this thing sounds like. Show you what we got. All right, guys, we got a new exhaust set up on the Carbon Fox. We're gonna go ahead and lower this thing down and see how she sounds. Now, this is some jacked up shit. These mufflers are tucked up in there so high. Ah, whatever. We know we're going to run it. We're going to fire it up. <laughs> look, look how far that muffler is tucked up in there over that one. Um, you know, ah, I probably won't even worry about it, to be honest with you, because from this angle, they look about the same. But I will say that now this is not as low as it was. It's still kind of low. But it's not that bad. So let's go ahead and lower this thing down and see what it sounds like with turn down. y'all it is about to flood here so when it rains we can't talk let me go ahead and just say that this is nasty i absolutely love it i love how deep it is how obnoxiously loud it is now the only thing is is the drone and most of you guys aren't going to want to have a car with a lot of drone i really don't either but hey like i told you before guys we got a youtube channel to run here we need to change things up we need to let you guys hear some different setups so what i'll do is go ahead and include a little bit of footage from the tailpipes compared to the turndowns me personally i'm good with either one but i think this is going to free up this car a little bit because i don't know if you guys know or not but tailpipes are restrictive I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before I get freaking struck by lightning out here. It's getting bad. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll drive the car. We'll see how the drone is and everything else. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching.